U.S. President Joe Biden issued his first pardon under his term, which includes three people, according to the White House. This includes Abraham W. Bolden, an 86-year-old former U.S. Secret Service agent who was charged in 1964 with attempting to sell a copy of a Secret Service file. Also in the list was Betty Jo Bogans, who was convicted in 1998 of possession with intent to distribute crack cocaine, and Dexter Eugene Jackson, who was convicted in 2002 for using his business to facilitate the distribution of marijuana. The chief executive also shortened the prison terms of 75 more who mostly committed nonviolent drug crimes. Additionally, the Biden administration will allocate about 145 million US dollars to develop re-entry plans for incarcerated persons and to connect them to resources such as jobs, housing and loans upon their release. He also announced more than 20 major actions from a dozen agencies to expand second chance opportunities. This includes a first of its kind partnership between the Department of Justice and the Department of Labor to invest $145 million in job training and intensive re-entry in federal prisons. The administration also believes that helping those who serve their time return to their families is one of the most effective ways to reduce recidivism and decrease crimes. Justin Masakayan, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.